Good day YouTube. How are we all doing? I'm the Trish Etkin and I'm feeling a wee bit cold. That's because I've lost all my armour. So today I thought it would be a good day to get some new armour. But what armour? I'm not too sure. Actually I'm sure. I know exactly what armour. I'm going to get some Ars Magica 2 armour. That's the Thelmanomicon. Uh, so since last episode, guys, I've done a wee bit of just t general tidying up. Uh, I made an ACE sort of plinth to get in and out of this place. Uh, my lever's still the same. And I've also finished off decorating my Thorncraft room. You know, we're reusing it quite a lot, so I thought it needed to be done. Uh, I also added a lever here. Because a creeper came down and scared the crap out of me, I killed him. But nonetheless, if I wasn't paying attention... It could have blown up some of my stuff. So added a lever. Torch one again, just, you know, stick with the style. Um, that's really it. I did a wee bit of research, so we'll move on to it later. But now I want to do some... Get my arcane compendium. And get a look at the armour, which is somewhere in here. It is... Mage armour. So, Mage Armour uh, is quite good. It makes your spells more effective. Uh, when you've got the full suit, Your my mana regen is more. And, yeah, so it, it takes... It, it self-repairs upon you. When you're wearing it, it'll self-repair. Uh, but it'll use your mana to do so. So I think this is the stuff that I should craft. I, I should get some of this stuff. Let's see if I've got any... Uh, light blue dye. Hold on one second, guys. Start of an episode and I get a phone call. <laughs> Typical. So, light blue eddy? No. Light blue dye. Let's see how to craft it. Two ender flowers, dye magical essence. I should maybe try making some of these magical essences what does it take to get the dye essence dye seeds I need a few different dyes ok so I need four dyes regular magic essence and some seeds let's actually see if we can get that So I've already got one, two, three, four. Then I need to. I wonder if I just put the die seeds. Does it need to be different? Four different dies. I think it does. Let's see what I've got. I'm putting off some lapis. I won't have some bone meal. Oh, nice. That works. I'm definitely going to go plant that. Whee, over to my farm. And let's plant that, to say, instead of... Okay, I still need glowstone. Let's get rid of one of these creepers. Oh, I just need to get two of them away. Put that away. Oh, chest is all getting lovely and full. Well, look how much Ceres Quartz stuff I've got there. Ceres Quartz galore now. Handy thing that, having that farm there. So, what was I doing? Oh, I still need light dye though. So, I'm pretty sure if I just put bone meal and that, I get some light blue dye. Let's just get a few of these. Because I think I need to mix them with some wool. I wonder if the mage armor's. Oh, the mage armor isn't here. It's not the battle mage. It's just the mage. Let's see. Light blue wool. So I'll need a few of these. Uh, hopefully that'll be enough. Uh, I'll need a purple. You know, 
water bottle. Let's see if I've got a bottle. Go grab some water in it. Uh, have we got any water out here? Got some frozen water. Yeah, if you don't understand why there was frozen water, I made a, a derp a while ago. With uh, Remember my Christmas episode I once had? Yeah, it froze my whole everything. So now, you know, my world's frozen. Just around my house, I've got all frozen ponds. So there we go, I've got a magic hood. Excellent. Then I also want... Oh, I just want the whole thing, really. So let's see... I need two white ones. To get that. Leggings. I need a yellow one. Have I got no... Hmm. I've got no yellow dye at all. Dearie me. Okay guys, I'm going to have to go do some running around to get some more, and I'll be right back. And I'm back guys. So, oh, I've got everything this time. Make my yellow rune. Then, the mage armor. Mage leggings. And then some mage boots. I need uh, two black ones. And then I got myself some mage boots. Yeah. Awesome. So now I've got a full set of uh, armor for there. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go down here. And put my goggles here. Perfect. And what boots have I got? I've got those on. Whoa. Okay, mm, it looks all right. It looks better in its little picture. Uh, oh my god, I walk so slow though. But, uh, the thing is with these boots, let's uh, go up here. They supposedly stop me from taking fall damage from time to time. So if I jump down here, you'll see in the bottom left hand corner down here, they've got damage, how much damage they've got on them and it'll actually repair off my mana. See that? Took some damage, but now it's getting repaired. How cool is that? But there's got a cooldown timer, and it doesn't tell you how long exactly it has the cooldown timer for. So these things are apparently, you know, very good at being enchanted. They've got a very high enchantability. So that's a very high possibility that we should maybe set up an enchantment table so we can enchant Uh, yeah, enchant my armor. Tartrate Enchanter. What if that gives you anything cooler? Have I got any in Tartrate? Was Tartrate the thing I used for my armor? Oh, it is. Oh, look, I've still got my helmet and some boots in here. Ha! Ah. Okay guys, I'm going to get the stuff prepared for making an enchanting table and I'll be right back. And I'm back guys. So I actually had the enchantment table in there and I just smelted up some of the ores. So I want to see what this is like. I, I don't know what this is. I've never seen and or ever used it. So, you know. So I also need some bookcases to be exact. I need 15 bookcases. I only have 10. So let's see, 11, 12, and some more leather. Oh, bit of a lag frame hit there. Doingy, 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 doingy. Also got to think of a place to put this as well. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen is the exact number that you need to be uh, 
exact number for it to enchant the most efficiently, apparently. So a place to put this enchantment table. I'm wondering if I should have it up here or have it downstairs. The problem is with it, you always need to do sort of a wee corner. Of course, unless I use this. Ooh, I could do it here, couldn't I? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll fix that in a minute. Oh. Of course, I don't have my high jumping boots on anymore. Well, that's annoying. Yes, I'll make a wee room here. Put the enchantment table, like, I don't know. Here? There. And then put the bookcases around it. I know, I don't have a shovel. Okay, I died in the nether and it all got burnt to death. So if I get my bookcases. And somehow two six eight nine. That should be the exact amount needed. I'll probably just put this up one. I'll fix it outside a bit later. So that should be an enchanting table. Whoa! What? I, 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 I don't know what that is. Let's get my boots. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I just... Oh, whoa, no, 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 no. Ah, crap. I just realised I've only got one level, and it's went and enchanted them. Ah, crap! I'm gonna have to make another pair. Okay, feather falling one's not a bad enchant, but still, I wanted—I didn't want that. I wanted a level thirty enchant. Hmm. I should really get a mob farm set up, shouldn't I? For now, I'm gonna keep these on because they run faster. So I've got a good set of armor now. Yay! And. baddies. But if you notice my boots are actually taking a hit and so are some other... Okay, most of my tools are actually from Thermal Expansion, not Thermal Expansion, Tinker's Construct, but there is some things that all take damage eventually, like my boots and my goggles of revealing and other armour. So I want to get a thing which I've actually already crafted. It's the Arcane Reconstructor. Now this is pretty cool. It is crafted like this, pretty simple recipe. But what this can do is use the Nexus energy to repair an item. That's right, repair an item. So I'm going to put it maybe, no, I'd rather have it over here. I think I'll reach that far. Let's try it, I'm going to place it there. And then I'm going to take my crystal wrench and say uh, here to here. Ah. I don't think that's working because this is closer. Right, okay, I can, I can fix that. I can fix that. If I just move this. Uh, how much is he storing in here anyway? don't actually know if these things uh, keep themselves charged or not. Can you break them? So let's put this here. Huh. Crystal range isn't working very well just now. So there. Now you to you still going over there I want it to come out of my battery huh did you keep your charge? Well, at least you kept your charge it's because it's hidden let's uh, move it again 
to here. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with this. Crystal Wrench is working a wee bit funny just now. Uh, and I don't know what's wrong with it. Because I'm... No idea about it. Uh, so basically, in this thing, once it charges up with energy, all I need to do is drop in, say, my Thoma Boots of the Traveller, and it'll take them and do some cool animation. And it'll start imbuing them with the, the light energy, my free energy. I could set this up on the, on the neutral energy and get it to charge off of it. Um, but you can see it's charging pretty decently. I could make some, uh, what they call, charge focuses. I think it's charge focus. I could make some charge foci. Charge, if I could spell. Make a few of these, standard focus. Not too hard to make. Let's make three. That. Stupid thing keeps on putting the wrong kind of glass into it. And then three of you. And I believe if I use these, it should uh, do it quicker. But of course, there's not any charge going on. I wonder if this isn't working because that's on. You should work. Why aren't you working? I wonder if I've put this. you to you okay guys just give me a second and i'll be right back and i'm back guys so i can't figure it out i don't know why it wasn't working um just gonna have to let it all this all charge up and do its business i suppose really it seems to be the only one that's charging this so i'll have to let it be uh i'll put my tools back i've got a wee chest nice and handy so I can put my tools in it that I use for Ars Magica. So now that we've got some armor and a weed recharging station, I want a way, I want to make a nice wee pathway to get to there. Uh, I don't need anything fancy, just a, a pathway. And what I'm going to use for that is the gravel road doesn't make me go fast or anything, it's just a really nice looking block, really. So to make the gravel road, I need some gravel bricks. So let's make some gravel bricks. Well, that seems to be all the gravel I have, so that'll do nicely. Uh, and then we need some stone brick slabs, which I should be able to make tons of. And they're all my inventory. Should be able to whip up a few of these. Take a couple of stacks, why not? And really, there, there's no reason I've got this over anything else, apart from the fact it looks nice and it's got connected textures. That is literally the only reason I got them. It looks nice. I might see if I've got a shovel in my A system. Not a shovel, just a shovel. Oh, I do. Iron shovel will do nicely. I know I've got a fancy shovel there, but it was pretty well broken, so this is fine. Uh, don't worry about the sound going away there. I put that sound muffler I'd made earlier on uh, next to the nether portal. Because when I was using the Thorncraft room, it was kind of noticeable. There. 
So that's the only reason you can't hear it. So you can hear there, nothing there, but you can hear. So I think I'll, uh, yeah, I don't even think I need this one actually. Don't know, because I'm gonna have to build a house around here eventually, a building around here. That's a nice gravelly path. Could also prettify it up a bit more. I am not, uh, uh, I take full acknowledgement that I am not the prettiest builder in the world, as you all can probably tell. Could make that maybe three wide and it goes into one there. I don't know. Uh, and I'll make another path around there to this side later on, not just now. I just wanted to show you, show you me making the lovely road, as it's called. So guys, Let's move on to the next thing, what we're going to be doing. So, last episode I had crafted, well, not crafted, I had, well I did craft, I did craft my wand. I made a new wand. It was my Thaumium Bossed Silverwood Wand. And I've charged it up, as you can see, which is a bit annoying because it stores 100 V. And I'd already just charged it just before the, my gold one, just before the episode out. And... Then I went ahead and into research, nose deep into research, to get us the thing that's not on this page. Here it is. The wand recharge pedestal. Two diamonds. Yikes. It's already getting expensive. So it needs four diamonds, a piece of gold, an arcane pedestal, a hopper, ten orum, fifteen per, per, permutatio, and fifteen percantio. Which, if we look in here, I have not got my goggles on, so you can't see anything. I do. Let's put all of my... Let's leave my boots on, actually. Nope, I'm in here. Make everything right. Uh, I've got 10 orum in here. Uh, that's the arcane. How much aura did I need? I needed 10 orum. I needed 15 permutatio, which should be down here. I've got 20 there. And I needed 15 Procantio, which is here, got 23. So I've got all those bits and bobs. Let's get ourselves the rest of the things. So I needed a hopper. I've got one, how handy. I needed a pedestal. I should have one, I do. I needed some diamonds. I'll do. Don't have many diamonds left. Uh -huh. Uh, I need gold. Gold, diamonds, pedestal. Was there anything else? I might get another hopper just in case. It's minor instability. No, that should be fine. So four, five, six. Okay, that should be okay. So let's get these set up. So the pedestal goes in the middle. Then we have got diamond, 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 hopper, and gold. Go. Imbue with your magiciness. Take another orum. Take another Procantio. Oh, see, knocked off one of my diamond blocks. Ah, no. What a pest. All the mess it's made. Yeah, got ourselves that. Okay, so I'm going to have to tidy this up now, though. Knocked off all my heads and everything. What a pest. Let's get some cobblestone. Tidy this up. I think he's planning on making a, a solution to this, the way you clean this stuff up. I don't think this is in his final way to clean this all up. So let's get these heads back down. 
looks odd without them. So was it zombie head in the corner, creeper head in the center? Ah, it was that there, that there, creeper, yep, creeper, zombie. So we got ourselves the arcane. Where'd it go? Oh, we didn't take it off. There we go. The arcane pedestal. Now this is a cool, handy, nifty, awesome piece of machinery. And, oh, I haven't actually got a place to set this up yet, have I? Just kind of thinking that will be that stuff. Hmm, hold on one guys, I'm going to think of a place to put this and I'll be right back. And I'm back guys. So I've made a wee room off to the corner here, uh, which I'll obviously definitely make a bit prettier like I have here. I'll do all the whole stuff, edging blocks up the sides and stuff like that, make it all look pretty again. But for now, I don't care. So I have got a one, two, three, four, five, six, I've got a seven by seven, so it should be there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that should be the exact center for all this shenanigans. But it doesn't do anything yet. I've got a wand, and I want to go for a wee trip. And what I need is my node in a jar. I need some glass and some wood slabs. So let's grab some of that before I go. Glass, I'll need more glass than that. Craft me up a stack of glass. Let's put away all this cobblestone. Uh, while that crafts up, I'll make some wood slabs. Should be enough. Tons, actually. Be too much. I don't need quite as much as that for my first go. So I'll be right back when I get all the glass and I'll meet you where I need to be. And I'm back, guys. So you catch me out in the middle of nowhere. There's a pure node over there. Mm, nice. Uh, and I'm looking right now at a node which has 113 aqua. And that's enough to charge all the aqua in my wand at one time. Okay, admittedly, it's not always the best having one node with lots of things, but I'm going to have more than one node, really. So, I've got my glass, I've got some stone slabs, I've got some extra building materials in case I derp up. And all I need to do is encase this node in glass. So if I go below it, piece of glass there. I really hope I don't mess this up. Let's encase this bad boy in glass. I did bring a couple of extra glass with me, so as not to do too much of a problem. And some slabs on the top. And this is really why we needed this wand. Because this wand can hold 100 V, whereas our old one could only hold uh, 90, uh, 50, sorry, and also I'm wearing all my thaumaturgy stuff, so I get a discount as well. So, here we go. There we go. I've got a node in a jar now. And to pick it up, you just hit it with a pickaxe. Don't let it fall into lava. And there we have it. I have got a node in a jar. Uh, oh, and it stayed normal. There is a chance for your nodes to weaken when you take it. Turn from a normal to a pale. It's about a 50% chance, so I've been told. Uh, and as you can see, it only used about 60, less than 60 of my wand. Brilliant. So guys, I'm going to have to go back now, and we can go place this back at base. I'll catch you there. And I'm back, guys. So, here we are, 
this is a general layout of the way I've noticed a lot of people do it and it's the way I like to do it as well because it makes sense really. Um, if you ever need to move again you need to have an ability to put a three around it again so you can't really have them right next to each other. If you know you're not moving it's not so bad but you know I just it's just in case you have to break it then there's nothing you can do but say la vie I'll, I'll do it like this and if I need more I'll do something. So my first one I'm going to place down here and then I'm going to get my wand and I'm going to break it. And that's it. Here is now 113 aqua node and I can I can oh, better not do that yet I can place it here and you see it's draining the essence out of there out of all the aura how cool is that so I'm gonna be running around quite a bit between this episode and next charging up my wand and oh bringing nodes over and try and get a good collection of nodes now, obviously, I could have the nine of the... Uh, no, there's only six, isn't there? That's even better. I'll still have a couple spare. And I'll get them all placed out, and we'll see what it's like next time. I'll probably do... I'll, cl I'll tidy this room up as well, off-camera, between this episode and next. So, guys, this is the Trish Etikin signing off episode 24. Whoosh. Have fun, guys.